Hey, what's up with everybody? Welcome back to the Complete Cards channel. Now, today we've got this debut edition 2021-22 Panini Photogenic Basketball Hobby Box. Now, I haven't looked up anything on this box, so this will be an honest review here. And let's go ahead and decipher the box. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Now, looking at this box, I see 50 cards, uh, one autograph. That's pretty tough, but it is the debut edition, so, I mean, we'll see. Um, ooh, yeah, like I thought. When you have this look for section, when it says rookie autos, <laughs> I mean, that's making me think it's going to be really hard to pull an auto uh, that's a rookie. Um, one of the things that that's one of the ultra rares. So I'm going to just check around the box to see what else are the, you know, the ultra rares here. So a shoe game insert will be an ultra rare. Nothing else there. Okay. All right, let's take a look here, and wow, um, 140 cards, not bad, uh, 40 rookies, I think there's like 50 or more, so it does look like they got rid of some of the fluff, uh, so hopefully when we do pull a rookie, it's a good card, I mean, ooh, look, can you see the numbering there, 75 to 1, I mean, you think being being short print, that's good, but that means it's going to be really hard to pull an, uh, a numbered card, the rookie autos don't even have a parallel, because they're just so hard to get, but I do, ooh, there it is, 10 to 1? Wow. So just getting a parallel Ricky card will be a steal. I mean, that'll mean that you hit on this box. I see these base diamond anniversary and then there's got the gold, the platinum. That looks kind of like it. it'll be pretty cool of an insert. I see the rookies have that, too. So I don't know. I, I can't really say what my opinion is right now. I'm just go ahead and, you know, open the box up. But it does seem like this will be one of the harder boxes. But it is, you know, the debut. So. I mean that's a I mean that's a good sign for like a collector's value in the future is that these are the first ever but uh like I said this is a tough box and here's what it looks like on the inside I mean it looks pretty cool logo's pretty cool packs are kind of thick actually it's making me think that these cards aren't like the regular uh, standard 25 but 25 pointers but we'll go ahead and take a look so let's see I feel like of course we want a one of one but uh, that's probably gonna be really hard to pull all right first pack first pack magic can can we get it done all right so they are a little bit thicker I'm not sure if you can you can see that wholly but these are just a little bit thicker but the cards themselves, I mean, that looks amazing. The Joker, yeah, they are a little bit thicker, but I mean, the photos look amazing. Um, I'm thinking I'll put these in a frame and, uh, oh, they even got them on. Okay, side, Malcolm Brogdon. I mean, it's got, it's got some good depth to it. D-Wade, so they're going to have a lot of throwbacks, a lot of, uh, hopefully a lot of like in-game moments. And then, is this one of our rookies? Wow. Wow, check this out. So we have a, a, I can't see what that says at the bottom, but it does look like it is the anniversary with the diamond, and that is Isaiah Jackson. And it is not numbered. Okay, it just says photogenic at the bottom. Check that out, though. So this is probably a base. And Isaiah Jackson is actually a pretty good rookie, so wow. I wonder if this is uh, going to count as an insert or going to count as a rookie. And I don't even know if this is the rookie base card right now. That could be the rookie base card. It looks like it's the diamond uh, like ball insert, but we'll see. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, I'm kind of a fan. Let me know what you think about the cards in the comments. I mean, that's a really cool looking uh, Giannis card. Let's see what's behind him. It must be uh, a sleeper. Here we go. Kevin Porter Jr. With the magnificent dunk. And then we've got John Stockton. On the Jazz. Kyle Kuzma on the Wizards. And let's see. Is this going to be a rookie? Okay, this is an insert here. I'm, I'm guessing this is an insert. Because the last one looked like an insert. Uh, not a parallel, not a numbered card. Pretty cool looking John Moran. That looks like a either the end of the game or the beginning of the game. 
intro. Yeah, I'm thinking I put that John Morant card or that Isaiah Jackson card since it is a such a good photo. I put it in like a, a really huge frame, just in the middle of the frame, and make the frame like super obnoxious <laughs> and put it on the wall. That's kind of like how I would collect these cards since the photography on them is just. I mean, it's magnificent. I mean, check this out. Dimwitty on the Mavericks. Great run for them in the playoffs. Dort. Kawhi Leonard. And then we've got Dikembe Mutombo with the block. I need this card to have like a like one of those cards that when you turn like this, it kind of changes so we can get the finger. <laughs> so we get the block and the finger afterwards. Wendell Carter Jr. I'm filling the glasses. Those look like um possibly uh some Ray Bans. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. So I'm actually gonna pull that card up again because his little photo at the top was silver and majority of the time they were they were gray. I mean gold. So I'm not sure if that meant that that was something special. I'm not really sure. That might be a parallel. I have to look that up. Yeah, see, like these are all gold right here at the top. It's going to be tough. So Brandon Ingram. Luca. I mean, that's a cool photo, right? And you know, you can collect the whole team. So we can put like, Dimwitty um, in your frame. That's what I'm talking about in the frame. I mean, that's a really cool looking photo. Really cool looking photo for, uh, for Luca. And yeah, you can put these in a frame. Yeah, I would put the Chris Middleton with the, the Giannis together. Okay, yeah, checking to see if I have a parallel. Jalen Brown. Or all the Celtics, and you can get them from um, previous years and put them together. Giannis, now this looks a little special. Looks a little different. Unforgettable. Oh, snap, this is the championship game. Oh, wow. Okay, got to sleep that. That's the championship game. That was a big block. What was that, like five seconds left? Is that in Milwaukee? I want to say I'm looking at the floor. I'm trying to remember what game that was. What game What game was that? I mean, I remember the block, though. That was probably like game, what, two? Oh, it's even got the date on it? Okay, that's pretty cool. So you could have a whole Giannis collection. The only thing that I'll say about the cards is it's definitely hard to figure out when you have a parallel, but there aren't really that many parallels. Because, uh, like, to get a parallel, you have to get, you know, 75 to 1. So, nothing crazy. Oh, check this out. Is that Dennis Rodman? Yep, Dennis Rodman right there. Man, that's an amazing photograph. Plus, that was an amazing play in general. Julius Randle. How the Knicks feeling about the uh, the draft? <laughs> Stephen A. and uh, Spike Lee had some choice words. Lamelo, wish this was a rookie card because this is a clean looking Lamelo card. Wow, I like that. Sadiq Bay. Clean. It looks like let's see, maybe we have a rookie behind this one. Oh, oh, we do have a Ricky Auto. This is our one auto. Charles Bassey. I can't believe we pulled a Ricky Auto. I mean, I know there's only one auto per box, and I already talked about how it's really hard to get a Ricky Auto, and we pulled one. I'm not really sure how that happened, but we have a Ricky Auto. Somehow I put that in there upside down, but Ricky Auto. For the 76ers. I wonder if that's going to count as one of our uh, rookies that we, we pulled. Does that count as an auto or does that count as a rookie card? I don't know. But so far we've done... I feel like we've done okay with our rookies. And as you can see, we don't get that many rookies per box. So far we've opened half the, half the packs and we still only have two rookies. Devin Booker. See if that had the date on it. Okay, no, it doesn't have the date because I was going to say, is that when they, you know, is that like a playoff game or something? Calvin Johnson. <laughs> a lot of diving photos. <laughs> Ooh, check that out. 
Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards. I mean, I wish this was a rookie card. They should have did this for the rookie cards. I mean, I, I do appreciate the fact that they have like photos of the rookie cards, but I would have rather had in-game moments. Miles McBride. And I think that might be it for us on rookies. We have three right now, and I think that might be game over. And I don't see a number on this. I'm not sure we have any parallels here. I mean, like I said, I saw that, that one card had a silver logo instead of the gold, and so did his. So I have to check the back of the box after this, but... Norman Powell. And then we've got KD. Looks like an NFT. They should call this the NFT collection. <laughs> That's what they should have done. They should have called this the NFT collection. Tyrese Halliburton. And then let's see, we got, ooh, Vince. Check out Vince. I'm trying to check. This is the slam dunk contest because I can tell. By the NBA players wearing, uh, maybe I'm pretty sure that's a slam dunk contest. So that's pretty fire. Joshua Primo. So we have another rookie. We pulled another rookie guard. I'm not sure now. Okay, so I'm thinking that auto didn't count as a rookie guard then. So then that insert that we saw with Isaiah Jackson was a huge hit for us because this is the base rookie. So we did pull one of the uh, diamond inserts for Isaiah Jackson. Okay, that's pretty good then because Isaiah is actually a pretty good player. Yeah, I'm not sure if y'all saw, but his photo had the gold logo on it. So, yeah, I'm trying to keep track. I'm going call it gold logo and silver logo. So we've got a gold logo. Ben Simmons with the Nets? Oh, I mean, I mean, come on now. That is a fire picture, though. Even though he didn't play, that is a fire picture. Paul George, I mean, come on, they got the fire in the back. That's a fire card, too. Okay, I was about to say, I hope that's not Bradley Bill on the bench thinking about what is... Is he staying on the Wizards? Oh, wait. It looks like we have something numbered in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to that one because that looks... Oh, snap. Check this out. So we, Oh, we have Dirk. We have 75 out of 75 Dirk. Let's go. Wow. Check that out. Wow. Check that out. So that is the Diamond Anniversary Parallel. Wow. With the silver. I mean, it's kind of like silver. It's kind of like reflective. Wow. Okay. I might have a hot box, but check that out. Dirk. Is that his last game? I wonder if that's his last game. Wow. Okay. Check that out. All right, all right. I mean, it's going to be tough. Y'all going to have to let me know what y'all think. 75 out of 75 for the 75th anniversary. That is a huge hit for us. I wish he, uh, I wish he was showing, like, had something that said, like, 75, you know, 75th anniversary. But, yes, yeah, 75 out of 75 for the Diamond Anniversary uh, 75th or the 75th anniversary. I'm trying to make all types of stuff right now. I'm trying to make all types of connections. I don't know if y'all can tell. <laughs> I'm trying to connect so many dots right now. All right, so here we go. Dylan Brooks. Cool looking car right there. Jason Tatum, come on. Ooh, and he got the three up. You know that was a big three. Oh, you know that was a big three. Oh, check that out. That's pretty cool. Really feeling that. Oh, we got Penny. For the Magic. Kyrie Irving. Should he stay on the Nets? Should he go to the Lakers? Lakers. We have another rookie card. Wow. Photogenic. Franz. <laughs> I said photogenic. The set is called photogenic. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what the cards are called or the inserts that they have. Uh, maybe this is his base insert card. I doubt it. Um, but, you know, maybe they all did something different. This kind of looks like an insert to me. We got Franz. And for our last pack, I can't believe we have five rookies in this box. And a number parallel for Dirk. I mean, it seems kind of seems kind of like a good box. Alright. Alright, Cole Anthony. And then we got Lonzo Ball. And then we have another numbered card. No, I'm just kidding. I was just I was trying to talk it into existence. We got Bam. 
And then we have another numbered card. And I'm just trying to talk it into existence. AI, check that out. And that's without the braids. This might be his rookie season. I wish they had the date on that. And then we have another rookie card. Wow, I'm I'm kind of impressed right now. Austin Reeves for the Lakers. I mean, I mean that's I mean that's fire. That's one, two, three, six rookies. This might be a hot box. This could be a hot box. All right, so let me gather the cards together, see which ones I kind of like the most. Let's see, is that any different number? No. All right, cool. So I think we should start with um, the the vets real quick. And these are some of the cards I liked. Of course, Giannis. You know, this actually probably started out as a layup that he turned into a dunk. I had to throw the Dikembe in there because, I mean, come on now. I can't tell who that player is that he blocked. But, yeah, that was glassed. He didn't even get, that was the bottom of the backboard. He didn't even get up there. He didn't even let him get a chance. Vince, you already know. I had to throw Luca in here. I mean, that's a solid looking photo right there. Solid photo. Solid photo. I accidentally grabbed two. I had to throw uh, Jalen Brown in here because, I mean, the man's been balling. He does a, a lot, deserves a lot of credit. And then I'm throwing Jason Tatum in here right now because that was a, you know, that was a huge uh, play right there. Dennis Rodman because, I mean, come on now. Who, like, that is dedication to basketball. I wouldn't even dive like that for my phone. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm not getting paid millions of dollars, but uh, AI, throw that in there. And then I had to throw in Steve Nash because um, this was actually a really good team. Steve Nash and Amari Stoudemire was a beast team, so I got to throw that in there because that's a good memory. D-Wade because, you know, it's D-Wade, you know. Kevin Porter Jr. because, I mean, I just like the fact that uh, he's going off right there. I'm not going to lie. He's going off. Kyle Kuzma, just another cool looking dunk, so I got to throw him in there. John Morant, I threw him in here because, I mean, I feel like he's coming back for a vengeance next year. I don't know if y'all saw the, the clapping between him and uh, Draymond. But um, I'm thinking this is an insert, uh, or not an insert, but a parallel. If you can see here, this is silver, where everything has been gold. So I threw this in here because it might actually be a parallel. I had to throw Ben in here because uh, he's going to play next year. That was a question. I threw this one in for Chris Middleton because we know he didn't dunk this. I don't know who photoshopped this. Chris Middleton cannot dunk. No disrespect. <laughs> LaMelo Ball. I mean, come on now. Throw that in there. Devin Booker. One of his few times dunking too. As you can see, he's basically about to... He's basically... His leg's about to give out. That's, that's how you... Like, you see the difference in the dunks? Uh, that's a joke, by the way. Just, just a joke. Man, because he dunked it. Gotta throw that in there. Alright, so we did have... Um, this insert, I guess, from Giannis with the unforgettable moment right there. Definitely unforgettable for sure. For sure, for sure. And it's silver. It's got the silver frame. I mean, I'm thinking this is special. I think this is special. Only thing they're missing is on the backboard to say prism. So let me grab the rookies real quick. Here are the rookie cards. And let me see if I can put these ones that are similar together so yeah like this makes me feel like this is a silver parallel right here because these two cards one is gold one is silver but austin reeves and josh joshua primo and we have miles mcbride and this is our auto which was a ricky auto so shout out to charles then we also pulled uh, Franz and Isaiah Jackson. This is probably the hit of the box for us. And uh, I don't think that is a parallel. I think it's just a base. It looks gold. And I think it was supposed to be like uh, a little bit more hollow. Like watch me like review this and every card I have is like a super rare card or something. That'd be hilarious. And then our biggest hit of the box. Right here. Dirk with the 75 out of 75. Diamond anniversary parallel. Staring off into the sunset. Thinking about retirement. What do you think Derek is thinking about right now? Was he about to eat for dinner? Because he knows he's about to hit. You know, he, he had no problem hitting threes. Yeah, so let me know what y'all think of that box. I mean, I think we did pull a few inserts, uh, like the pregame insert. Um, uh, we had that unforgettable insert with Giannis. And, 
And thinking about Isaiah Jackson, I'm really kind of thinking that that was probably more of like a first night insert. So not really like the diamond, like the Ricky diamond, just because uh, I feel like that would have been numbered. And I didn't see a number in Isaiah Jackson. So, um, I mean, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this box worth it? I do have a few extra boxes on eBay. Of course, I got these from Panini and I bought them together. So my boxes are clustered. So there's probably some better hits in my boxes versus other people's boxes. You see, I, I tooted my own horn right there. <laughs> But, um, I mean, let me know. Uh, the price kind of does seem right for right now. Um, it could swing either way. It could get a little higher. It could get a little lower as more people open up the boxes. I'm more of a safer than sorry type of person, so I would jump on it now. But at the same point in time, you might not need to. But I don't know. I mean, it's debatable. Let's talk about it. Hit me up in the comments and we can, you know, we can discuss this. Definitely check out my socials in the uh, description. Save me as a seller on eBay. And of course, follow me everywhere. And definitely hit that like button. I do appreciate the feedback. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is Complete Cars reporting live. And I'm out of here.